<laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. It really matter. We are online from uh, the finals of the New Dawn Fest, all of the New Dawn uh, tournament here. It's held uh, by the German national coordinator. We have people from uh, all over the world. I'm still setting up my sound, so uh, I'm a bit struggling here. Um, we're a bit late, but we have uh, another commentator uh, today. Chris has joined me. Uh, can you say hi? Just uh, check if it works, everything. Hello, this is Chris, hailing from Albany, New York. Awesome. I think it works. Um, everybody, don't hesitate to uh, interact with us in chat, ask questions or anything, and we will do our utmost possible to answer anything. And um, they are proceeding with the seating right now, I think. Do we have any idea who the finalists are? So the bard here is setting up the table. He will, he will call Schaefer. Uh, I know Carl, I've played a couple of games with him. Yeah, Ripper is my UC crew, he's a French champion. Uh, I know him, I played with him a bit. I'm still trying to. Uh, Get the sound of Discord because, of course, me and Chris we're on the Discord channel here. Um, we do have all the other players in audio, uh, but it's a mess because we don't want to hear them too much, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I opened up my uh, sound mixer and I'm looking yeah. at me too. <laughs> nice move. <laughs> I've, got it, I've got it set at about like 10 or 12. So I didn't watch the rounds. I have no idea what kind of decks uh, is it going to have. But this is, I think, the yeah, first... I been... Yeah, go. Yeah, I haven't uh, been following. I think, so. I think this is the first tournament where uh, V5 is legal, right? Uh, do you think we can expect some creeping, creeping sabotage or run houses uh, all over the table? Yeah, I would love to be able to see some... Definitely. Some of the new V-Fan cards. Definitely. Or at least the you know, like some new vampires here. I don't think we'll see any of the new vampires just because they tend to be lower capacity mm. and have uh, fewer disciplines. Like having uh, more yeah. than two superior disciplines seems to be a, a rarity. You're probably right. You're probably right. But cards like uh, Protected District and uh, Creeping Sabotage, some of the other Nosferatu tech. Um, I played actually the Nosferatu V5 deck uh, earlier in my uh, Neonate game. And it's like it has intercept all over the place. And that makes me, as somebody who's a big fan of Nosferatu, really happy. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I tried some version of the Sabotage deck. I, I think everybody did uh, lately, like in the, la in the last few weeks. Um, I'm really uh, curious about what we will see here. This is a real tournament. They, they had to keep the whole deck uh, for, for the whole tournament. They played two rounds already, so they know a bit of the decks of their opponents, I guess. And hey, chat, uh, don't hesitate to ask questions, interact, anything in the chat. We're reading this and uh, we will answer anything we can. Or just say hi. <laughs> Hello, chat. You know, and like I had people like because I was streaming earlier too. So just like it seemed so absolutely surreal to uh, you know to like actually just talk the chat as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, kind of difficult to pull off. I'm still uh, accustoming myself myself to it, uh, trying to read, uh, watch the game, <laughs> do everything at once. But uh, hey, you know that's the streaming for you. So how does it go? I think that'll work. <laughs> yep. Looks like the lackey, <laughs> the lackey server. <laughs> oh yeah, Alex server is uh, struggling here. Ah. We just got uh, kicked out <laughs> of the room. Damn. Yep. Well, it wouldn't be a lackey game unless there was some kind of server issue. <laughs> we won't have audio for the game because it's a mess right now, but uh, yeah, we'll have to answer to uh, 
to Rudolph because we just lost the room. Yeah, Rudolph. Uh, I see you lost the room here. Yeah, I can I can probably host host the game. Uh let me just set up uh my fire my firewall real quick and set up some static IP here. You just need someone to watch the game, right? Okay. Uh you don't finals. I'll just set the same password as before. And uh, let's go. One, two. All right. As we're rolling around. Um, there should, if you listen to the audio, it should still be streaming from the game as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm still trying to set up the table properly. Then remove a seat, vacate the seat. There we go. Sorry for that. <laughs> And no, uh, we're not just commentating, we're also hosting the game, <laughs> doing everything at once. So yeah, yeah, Maria is asking if we have the audio of the game. Uh, we do on our side. Um, I find it difficult to comment and also have the audio source of Discord of the player at the same time because it's a lot of noise all the time. Um, so yeah, I, 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 we won't have that that time. Maybe we'll try to set it up next time. It's not the first time we have two commentators and I managed to uh, set up the audio sources uh, correctly. Uh, I managed yes. to do that like two <laughs> minutes before before the start of the stream. Like, <laughs> hey, mind if I join in? It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Sure. So next time, next time we'll make sure to have like the, the videos of the two presentators, like the two commentators uh, side by side, if we can do that. And uh, yes, there, there's a way to do it. It's just... Probably, probably, I mean... Uh, I can probably capture the your, your uh, video input like I captured mine. Maybe it will not be perfectly in sync. Probably I don't know, <laughs> but we, we need to try that. We need to try that probably next time. And uh, if that's manageable, also uh, a Discord uh, input that would be nice. Mm -hmm. I try to mess up with my uh, audio mixer uh, next time. I'm just discovering this shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Like with uh, my streaming stuff, I actually have it so that I can sit there and play a game on Wacky, but I have like my hand blocked out so that nobody can scream snipe. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> so what I will do here is uh, I will basically hide totally the hand. We don't need that. Uh, I yep. will try to do a higher... Um, more of a tech, uh, chat box. More of a, more of a chat box so you can see the log a bit, uh, a bit better. Uh, maybe I mm. can still. Well, no, we, we don't. We won't see because we are out of the table. We will probably not see our sheets yeah. or anything. Let's just close that. Uh, here we go. That should be better. So, Serian's doing first resurrection, then call. Um, who's fourth and fifth set? I don't know. Um, not really sure. I've seen Serian play too. Oh, they're still sitting here. It's the finals of um, the new the New Year's Down tournament, and uh, they've uh, proceeded with the sitting dance. Uh, they've uh, rolled the dice, and now they're sitting in their seats. And the game will shortly begin. Hey, by the way, GQP air. <laughs> he has to risk not lucky. <laughs> like we're laughing here. When it rains, it pours. 
only some enterprising individuals could come up with an alternative. Yeah, like human tournament trying to uh, you know stream in, uh, stream it and everything. Uh, it's high tech here with this uh, '90s software <laughs> that is lucky. Yeah, we oh. we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I mean, the nice wait. thing about lucky, yeah, the nice thing about lucky is that it's really simple. Yeah, definitely, it's but just it's... a simulator. <laughs> Right. Well, you're hosting the game, right? Uh, yeah, I'm hosting it. Yeah. All right. So make sure you uh, save frequently. I can do that <laughs> for sure. All right. There we go. Here we go. People are drawing cards. This is exciting. It's beginning, guys. Marking settings. <laughs> but they don't trust and don't trust lucky shuffling <laughs> so they reshuffle everything they're quite right about that okay let's go for some saves here I will, can I save even if I'm not in the game not really yeah yeah like you should be able to look at card, mouse over cards once they're actually in play once they're in play, yeah, but I, I cannot save the game because I'm not on the table. Oh. Unless, oh boy, sounds like somebody's having plug-in issues. Yeah, as I are saying, a library card is encrypted, <coughs> so more often than not, it's because the plugin is not up to date. But they've been doing a tournament for, for, for two rounds already, so everything should be up to date. But maybe a, just a glitch. Glitches happen with uh, with Lucky here. Yeah. So I was foot bleeding resurrection, was bleeding card, was bleeding Marius, is bleeding Kesayan. Mm -hmm. So resurrection is that not Nikita? I think so. We can ask in in chat, I guess. Yeah. In some of the other uh, games that yeah, I Resurrection is Nikita, three, yeah, that's it. You know, having uh, everyone's names line up on both Discord and in Lackey or with whatever program you're using can be... Uh, yeah, but that would have been nice for, 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 for our side of things, you know, like commenting the game, knowing who's who, uh, doing some kind of a little presentation of the player, because I know Carl, I know Nikita, uh, I know Marius, I don't know uh, Errol or Sayan, for example. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I cannot I, really introduce so them. Yeah, I think the, let's see, I haven't really seen Errol. I've played with Resurrection, Carl, and Sarian. Let me do some digging on uh, VKM, you know. <laughs> I'll get you some basic information. So it's two and a half hours. And Hugh and Singh, CEO of BCP, is uh, judging the game. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a very uh, high star uh, game. El Capitan. El Capitan on the judge chair. Nobody will mess with him. <laughs> the only better judge you can get is probably Vincent. Uh, probably busy preparing a French championship in uh, in two days. So probably why he's yeah. up here uh, tonight. Plus, you know, having El Capitan uh, judging is already always very nice. Yes. <clears throat> So 
So Nikita is a, a Serbian player. He plays a lot of uh, Lucky Online. He, he won a lot of tournaments. Uh, like mm -hmm. uh, he was first in the Summer Rumble, uh, second round, uh, second in Summer Rumble, uh, second round. Um, what? Boom! Right out the gate. Holy shit. That's the beginning if you want them. <laughs> wow. Parking in and the information highway uh, right on the table. Uh, first turn. That's a serious, serious uh, yes. first turn play here. <laughs> wow. That's High like... threat. Plus, plus he's playing pandas, mate. Oh, God. He's oh, got whoa. Beans. So Pandas deck is going to be very fast and uh, all over the table in you know, just a few turns. It's a high level of threat here for its playing. Oh. Well, it looks like somebody gave them away, themselves away as the table threat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, the sound of the game is very is killing me oh. there. <laughs> I will just... Uh, sorry. Get that totally very quickly. Uh, much more calm mode for the rest of the turn. Just some transfers, no discard. A wide view from my view. Sp that... <coughs> oh, oh, plus Baron Ooh. Market. That's wow. a Leiden card, so we can expect a Leiden deck. It's played many Leiden constructs, so I wouldn't know what to expect next, you know. Maybe some Ishtar Revolt uh, deck or something. I'll have to wait and see. Definitely. But the Pandas playing first with Spartan and Info Highway. <laughs> it's a really, uh, really hard cut. Jeez, that was you know. so clutch. But you don't want to really draw too much attention to yourself, especially right away. Yeah, especially in the finals. Just... <clears throat> you can just yeah attract all the hate of the table, and uh, that can be a nightmare for you. And that's a night here. Oh boy! Small little buzz here. I don't know what to expect from that kind of deck. <laughs> it can be really anything. You can even play him just because it, you know, it's good for quest swarm. You go for it, <laughs> and I would expect all the Asamites to go with him. Dios de los Muertos. Oh no! Why? This is probably a pander vote deck. Yeah, legacy of panda thing. That's it. Here it goes. The legacy of panda. So now the pandas will get their votes, and once they do. Uh, they're pretty hard to stop here. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of thing that really can attract the, the hate of the table immediately because yeah. uh, once you know the deck, you know you have to take it down uh, straight away in the beginning <coughs> or it will just sweep yeah. the table. You know, either that or you have to just go hard, go strong. <laughs> yeah, I played what that also play twice. Uh, you just you just go. You just go for the pool of your prey. You don't wait for anything. <laughs> and there he goes, first kind. Typical call, three and one. Yeah. Down the line. Uh, he went he went for the one on the on the grand prey actually on call. Uh, so really expects to suit the table here. He's not even trying to mess with his predator. I think that makes sense with this deck, you know. Yeah, and even then too, like putting one to your predator, unless you know you're getting closer to them, like getting like one last minion out, like then you ping them for one. Yeah. You know, yeah. but like at this stage of the game, like it's too soon. Know, there's no reason not to wear down the next person because your predator's pool you're right isn't going to be as big of a factor definitely neighbor job Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> that can be something. So we got we got intercept here. So maybe the votes won't be so easy to get through. Well, and uh, if he has a bit of a combat module, he can really stop the pandas dead in the track. Um, yes. I didn't follow this, uh, the sitting dance, and I don't know who chose to sit where and who knew about the pandas here. Because that's the difference for me. You know, in the finals, you kind of choose where you're sitting. So, yeah, either the pandas really have the most vote and they choose their place, and that's strange, and they choose to sit to someone next to someone who has a lot of intercept. Uh, yeah, well, know. especially too with the dynamic of. Um, having his prey be the intercept deck, you know, that really puts a lot of uh, impetus on the prey to try to block yeah. all that stuff to keep themselves Definitely. in the game. Definitely. And all this player we will probably uh, help them here. I'm pretty sure I heard the entire table breathe a sigh of relief <laughs> <laughs> seeing that Venture and I tried to do the stock plus one intercept pop out. Yeah. Ooh. Lots of sabbat on the table. So, okay. Uh, the, 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 so the first place, the first place was a draw between Carl and Errol, um, and and they rolled the dice to choose. So uh, really, we we on the top decks here uh, with the, with the yep. pandas. And Carl is getting uh, an anti tribal ganger um, into play. Interesting. That's a good one too. It doesn't seem so much. It doesn't Not see so much review. play. Like uh, oh, Nana, that's a classic here. Going for more master cards, playing Asher tablets, of course. I'll get some sound back on the table because no, I'm a bit curious yeah, I, of what they're discussing. I have them pretty <laughs> low. Looks like Lori's. There we go. Uh, playing it safe. Okay. Alamut and Urbenga, Makechi. We can expect some votes out of this deck suddenly. Jeez. That's interesting because uh, will the Pandas uh, manage to keep the vote lock long enough to play the game here? So probably yeah, Errol, Errol kind of cho chose his place uh, in front of, uh, of neighbor John here. So maybe he just wanted to try to overflow him rapidly in the beginning of the game. And uh, preference has to uh, meeting meeting an interception deck like two turns later, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we got a Pentex submission here, and that's that's hardcore, mate. All right. He's asking for help around the table, of course. So, okay, here, look, burn the blood just to uh, really lock feel and uh, get an action less on the pender's side, try to make uh, the eventual Tichibu deck, uh, Nikita, survive a bit longer. Setting the terms of uh, of the kind already. Uh, that will be the same uh, three uh, for the prey, one for the grand prey. Five votes in favor. Two against here. Yeah, there's really no point. You like, <coughs> even if. 
Um, Laurie, uh, even if his prey is able to oust, like that doesn't really matter to him as much because he's yeah, got a long that's way to go spool, that's spool, to get yeah. to. Mm. Yeah, plus his prey will probably <laughs> focus on not dying first. We need help with that Pentex first. That's another kind. Where are the dealing tactics when you need them, you know? <laughs> yeah. When you play two in a deck, <laughs> it's unlikely to have it in, ha in the first hand. So oh, Nikita is already Pentex. gone to 17. Stuff. But maybe we'll get some counters on an Amat, but uh, it can, he can stop one or vote once in a while. He can maybe uh, stop the counts in his bones to hit the table, probably. Something like that. <laughs> That's really the basic combination of the palace deck here, of course. Uh, we have a Discord here. For one yep. additional vote, uh, it doesn't still not enough because it's a uh, three against five. However, uh, Errol has left himself tapped out. <clears throat> yeah. So the Yasamites can actually act and put some counters on Lamut. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. They can keep the, but if they have the counters, they will just, uh, I mean, in his stead, I will just keep them to counter the counter his boons uh, on mm -hmm. my praise, you know, I, I would still let the, the kind go through, so that really doesn't change the pain for the prey. It's a tricky deck to stop once it's uh, set up and the legacy uh, is in game. Um, it's hard to stop. You have to block, you have to fight. And uh, oh, so it discards the rising, the fall of the Camarilla. Interesting, removes of the GNA. <coughs> yeah, it already has the pattern and doesn't really need the, the rumors anymore, I guess. I mean, yeah, they can still burn Legacy of Pander, but the votes aren't in the table yet. Yeah, yeah, they will need the votes first with half time to <laughs> amass enough votes to, to block him. I don't know. <laughs> so he's asking for the next player to remove the Pentex, of course. Yes. Carl is playing now. I definitely need some help here. Let's see, power base Zurich. Zurich in game. Interesting. <laughs> he's not going for the Pentex. Yeah, I mean. Carl does need to focus on his prey, not helping his predator. Um, in his stead, I will try to remove the Pentex anyway. Oh, I, I knock from like, Sinus. He could survive another turn, you know. It's I'm not pretty sure he's got at least one more turn left. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Either that or... But it does make sense for Carl to kick the can down the road and let one of the other players who are not like in direct competition. Yeah, like the cross table uh, partners yeah. will do it. Like, let, uh, what's his face there? That's uh, exactly what he's Basir. saying. And he's, bled he's bleeding for two. He's saying to Take the that. table, someone else can, can, can handle it, basically. Adding some stuff because Nana tries to block. Get the edge. And use the Zurich. Because you know, successful blades. Mm -hmm. Here marks. That's a nice move. That's an interesting deck going on, yeah. 
yeah, what's he? What what is Carl playing? I don't know. Right now, looks like a basically sneak and bleed deck. Is this bleed Gangrel and Chichibu playing instantaneous transformation, something like that. I don't know. That's interesting. And the tablets and the revolts on the table. <laughs> So the discussing as uh, a Pentex thing, of course. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't see a conclusion there. Egg. It's rushing with Deep Sound uh, as a retaliation for the bleed, of course. Mm -hmm. That's a fast paced game. Yeah, it is. So Andreas asking in, in chat if there's going to yeah. be a VOD of the stream. Um, yeah, it will be recorded, so it will be available for 13 days uh, at least. And uh, I will have the recording, so maybe I can put it online at some point, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. And uh, Tom Sign posts and Carrion Cross here. Your classical uh, potent uh, animalism combination uh, for Nana. And Danette was blocked, uh, is not top. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, taste for two, because why not? And hi, Inferior Babel, um, telling us that's probably a design to leverage Zurich, and it wouldn't be a uh, surprise if there was more than one copy of it in the deck. Uh, maybe, yeah. It's really a nice combination with Luke. I wouldn't see it like a definitive combination to do a star deck around, you know. Uh, here goes Andre Leroux. Would be Harnack too, because of the convert. Um, it's a classical addition just to add some uh, bleed mm -hmm. power to a deck that is able to really wipe out the vampires of the prey. So the plan here is to rush, destroy the vampires of the prey. Once everybody's out, you get mm -hmm. an insane amount of additional bleed out of Andre here. Uh, that's really if you manage to get rid of all the vampires you pray, basically. <laughs> that's still a yeah. bit of work. <laughs> but yeah, with Wallmarked on her, uh, she's already well set, this Nana Baruch. Yeah. Yeah, so Lowry is promising uh, to remove the pen text, but uh, he has to do some first, uh, put some up his yeah. gate on Daisy here. He goes for the pen text. Nobody blocks. Nobody blocks. It goes away. What will the Mega to do? Oh, an embrace. Ooh. You think that's kind of. Um, Swarm uh, um, Asamite pool deck of some sort mm -hmm. with uh, who is it called? This Asamite that gives you so many votes uh, on the based on the number of Asamites you control already. Um, oh god, what is that card? What's his name? It's played in the, in the Death Star archetype. Yep, begins. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Any idea in Sam? I don't know. You're here, spectators. 15 of you help us. I'm a I'm a I'm a That's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. So we may, need, we may see a at some point. Or not. It's Camo. Camo Jafari. <coughs> Some Please. bleed, some staff, a bit of votes at some point with Alamut, or is this something of a defensive Alamut just uh, just here to accumulate some votes and uh, mm -hmm. basically counter the boons? 
Leading the Vines in play. That's a very strong anti bloat uh, card here. Joseph Fender for protection against rushes. And in chat, don't hesitate if there's a card you want us to zoom over because uh, you don't know it, you want to read the text or something. Uh, we can accommodate. They're playing quite fast here. And we have Joseph Pander hitting the table. Yeah. Okay, so he's blocking now. <laughs> Hooray. Kick his teeth in. <laughs> How much of them can, can he take down? I don't know if you can, he's going to be able to take down enough. So he's not blocked for the... He doesn't block for, for the block. That's, that's yeah, nice. for the... Uh... Prevents the damage. No press. Okay. <laughs> Not so strong in combat, it seems. Yeah. Well, I mean, but that he's doing what he needs to do. Keep yeah. himself in the game. Keeping him in the game, blocking the car. Because, because they keep coming, my friend. Pretty sure we're going <laughs> to... Pretty oh sure we God. haven't seen the last of these... Uh... Oh, it's a stick. He must have Topped just thrown into yeah, it. Yeah, I thought it probably... Um, she goes to zero. That's good because uh, next time she's, uh, she will end instead of voting. <laughs> I guess he still has some kind of wakes because instead I would have waited to send some vampires in top instead mm -hmm. um, if I didn't have a wake. A boon. So probably won't block that. Yeah, he'll probably try to let somebody else. Yeah, manage manage bone. That's that's a mission for the predator. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Also, I wonder because um, more pool um, only need, only means more pandas down the way. You know, <laughs> that is very true. But still, you need to block the kind, or you're dead. So, second panda securing uh, the lead here. Uh, two votes required to remove them now. Plus, you basically play 12 of them in the deck just to make sure you have it in first hand. So, <laughs> you have to cycle. <laughs> I mean, that's a hell of a card to call just to cycle it, you know. Yeah. But at the same token, because it does stack, I believe, right? Well, uh... On the kid, he was played, John blocked, and uh, sent him into top hood. Not stacking, not yep. letting him stacking the card. That's an interesting choice. Because but if it was, yeah, if the referendum in action were successful, you know, if you, I have two legacy of pander out, each pander get two votes, correct? No, that doesn't stack. Uh, it has been, it, it did stack like back in the days in 94, <laughs> but nowadays oh, it's okay, just, yeah. you know, each non title like pander has one vote. Actually just chew through. Yeah, yeah, it's just protecting them basically. Gotcha. Okay. Basil, that's also strong. You can die very quickly if, if he's blocked. But still one more vampire, but... No, he's not there to fight. He's there no, to... No, no, no. Shin to bag it. Definitely there to swarm and uh, overthrow the enemy with just small vampires. Oh, Nikita is not uh, shying down, getting another vampire out there to block. Yeah, so probably oh, Errol goodness. did choose that spot because he felt he had a good chance to uh, actually take down the, the grinder before he can set up mm -hmm. any kind of defense. Because if you hit that as a second prey, uh, it's really hard for a deck like the Pandas. I'm not even sure we can overpower him as a first prey, in fact. We'll see how it goes, but um, two blocking Vantrus already, that can be too much. Yeah. Blood, blood, the bleeding line is really a good move here because uh, a villain will not get him out of it. We need two of them. <laughs> mm. Twisted Forest. 
Yeah, sorry. Twisted Forest. So we're creating uh, Jess Simmons for a bit more bleed. Unlocking. Uh, and probably blading right away. <laughs> or does he need to get uh, his vampire out of top? Yeah. It's a bleed for three. Yeah. He's trying to block. Probably not work. One stealth here. So there's not much intercept in a typical Nana deck. Mm -hmm. Can I have your uh, occasional um, savage way or a um, bit of animalism interception here, but uh, like a few of them. Um, I think there might be a problem with the stream. Why so? Um, search codex name. And nope, there we go. Something must have been a problem on my end. Okay. <laughs> But that's good to be two, two of us because I cannot uh, watch the stream as commenting yeah. on the game. So I having mean, someone else here is really good. To, to both. But I can and watch. It, I, I watch the chat. chat. I watch the chat, but I cannot watch the stream while I'm streaming, basically. Mm -hmm. So let me go through. Um, And he used uh, Zurich to put some blood again. Another vampire here. Yeah, more more uh, more vampire with uh, mm -hmm. small vampires with obfuscate seems to be the play here. Probably so they can leverage Zurich. Uh, I guess Imperial yes. Bubble was right. And the, the whole idea is to have enough you know, vampires to bring a lot of blood uh, down in the crypt and get a lot of people out. So Poirot's Montreal here is out now. It's my use turn. Nana sitting at less than a 10 pool, which is no, also no, no, really... Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard for him, like it down to nine. Playing a fame on Bazir. Everybody's going uh, really focused to be forward here. <laughs> Bandit gets Banders here, sure, add a lot of pressure to the table, like uh, forcing everybody to uh, mind their prey very soon, very fast. Yeah. <clears throat> I generally speaking don't really like watching decks go backwards. Like every yeah, once in a it. while, it's absolutely necessary to bloody your predator's nose. But really, like, I always feel like you should be just always trying to focus on going forward. Yeah. Rather yeah. than. I totally agree. I'm curious, else. I'm curious what Marius will do with, uh, uh, with Nana here, like rushing again backwards, trying to get this look down because it's really a big threat. Bring for three, unlocks every turn. But. But you can just block every turn with, uh, with a new vampire, basically. Hmm. Oh, I'm not sure you're the only one to have a problem with the stream because Darby is messaging me, uh, telling me that the stream is down for him. Um, okay, I, maybe I'm actually, kind of I am actually seeing the stream, but I'm not. Okay. I'll just message him. Uh, we still have 20 spectators here. Do, do, you, do you hear us? Like, are you there? <laughs> Is the stream okay on your side? Let us know. Like, I can't, like, I'm not connect, able to connect the chat and I, when I refresh. It... Oh. So he says to me that you can see the chat. You can't see the stream, but the chat is dead, basically. Uh, like, it doesn't work. Oh, wait. How I just refreshed possible? again. And it's telling me it's connecting the chat. Yeah, I've got an error in the chat. In the chat, yeah. Me yeah, too. Not, I don't know yeah. what's happening. Well, you know what? Don't hesitate to come up on Discord and ask us your question on Discord. Maybe we can uh, set up a live chat here or something.
actually. And we can go on PTS Lucky CCG for those who here. Um, um, Chris, maybe you can set up a, a text chat so can so people can join and uh, ask questions on their side. Yeah. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to uh, send a message in the, some message in the chat just to try to set it back up. You might Wait. have to uh, restart your stop your stream and just restart it. Uh, if I have to restart the stream, yeah, why not? But uh, it's really it's really sad to uh, interrupt the stream in the in the middle of it. Yeah. See, I'm just playing Hakim slow. Just got some of the ambrus while I'm bamba, kind of the same thing out. And uh, what's up? <coughs> I've had some nights here. <laughs> so it's breeding. I'm getting a quick card. So, really, if that doesn't work, uh, the chat, I'm so sorry, guys. We'll try to uh, work up some kind of quick reboot uh, of the stream uh, between two turns or something when, when nothing's happening. Yeah, or there could be a, something going on with la or, um, Twitch where it's not. Yeah, I suspect it can connecting. be a Twitch problem, basically. Okay, spend this time is going down. <laughs> let's let's not cut right yeah. now. <laughs> so Rice is in Torper. Yes, Rice is in Torper. Kristen is hunting. He will try to block. He will try to block. Womp womp. I forgot to pay for uh, Phil Ramos to lock him. With so many cards on the table, it's really hard to keep track of, you know, the board state. Yeah, <clears throat> all these are uh, on Nana's side, but all those are the Asamite here. Uh, so Olubenga used no secret from the Magaji, uh, which is very, very strong against the Pandas here, because you can block anything, gets plus one intercept when he's blocking vampires. It just blocks the hand, basically, uh, to take the vampire down and put it into torpor. Mm -hmm. Nabogen uh, blocked the kind here, hit with a stick, uh, two damage on uh, Lena. She goes to Topo. Oh, she was at two, right? Yeah, she was at two. She was at two. She's two, down to zero. Okay, it looks a bit grim for the pandas here. Between Wellmerk and the grinder, yeah, that's a hard game. Using the misdirection to try to block the, the kind. Gets a, gets a stick. Yeah. But he does have 18 pool. Yeah, he still has a lot of pool. Uh, you're right. And so He's does Carl. Uh, and Nikita is down to 9. Uh, Marius is back to 11. Uh, it's more or less stable. But say uh, an Aerol that goes to 17, 18. They have a lot of pool. But it's a question of momentum. You, you can have the pool you want with pandas. You need to draw the yeah. crypt. So, uh, can I just go one vampire? Uh, yeah, eyes of Argus. Sayus blocking having, power. Having, you know, having the information highway does help quite a bit. Yeah, but you get one vampire a turn. <laughs> Again, that kind of blocking power that may not help. 
<laughs> Can somebody play Dragon Bound, please? <laughs> <laughs> nice question. <laughs> Quick, somebody call a perpetual care. I guess Marius with his Nana Rush deck may be playing Dragon Bound, but now is not the time to play it, probably. <laughs> Either that, or you know what would really be a clutch play right now? And Scylla Empowerment. Hi! Oh, yeah, Everyone yeah, take one yeah. for each minion they control. Hey, I send it, pay 10, hey, pay 10, pay, pay 7. <laughs> that would be a hard blow. I mean, cheese, one, two, three. And second stick, seven. yeah. This is really your classic grinder. Doing wonders. Uh, so, failed in uh Rex is out. It's always just so fascinating to like watch a game actually play out. Because the in the first three turns of this game, it looked really grim for everyone else. Yeah. <clears throat> and suddenly but, things are, you know, balancing out. <laughs> yeah, the pandas don't have like the Well the same But it's also, thing. you know, like the right person is in the right spot to deal with things. Yeah, definitely. You know, if uh the venture grinder deck were one seat over, you know, Carl probably wouldn't really be able to do much of anything. Yeah, I would probably be dead, but um, like the pandas would have one BP, but nowhere to go from there, basically. Because yeah, I, I, think, I think second I will, inner uh, hit the table. Oh, second leveled. Okay. Plus Gordon. Uh, Gordon was cancelled by, by blending the vine. Yeah. He's paying, he's paying the vine every turn just basically to polarize his, his prey. Uh, so go them down, of course, get some some pullback. Oh, a third vampire. I, I mean, not for nothing, but he does kind of need it. Yeah? Like he took a good, what, eight, nine pool worth of hits? Yeah, something like that. Uh, and the stream it looks like the oh. Yeah, getting some pullback here. Yeah, there's. He's in the time in the tight spot. It's causing the push shadow in destruction. Oh. Saying he won't use it anytime soon. Carl is sitting on twenty pull here. It really looks like his deck doesn't uh, don't really have any brute device. Uh, it just gets Luke out, and then uh, it's all for Zurich, you know. And you have to go through twenty pool if you want to take him down. Mm. Something like that. Hide the bag. Bleeding for three. Oh, people are talking about Diablery. Yeah, but and also they make a good point that uh, the vote look is really, really uh, not so not so good here on the on the panda side. They have two votes on the table. That's not much. Oh, yeah, using they, idle bag to switch the pool. Really I mean, it's going to be really hard for him to pull those vampires out of torpor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, that was the plan. Playing with Heidelberg and uh, the permanence here, bleeding for three, bleeding for three. Mm -hmm. Some just basic stealth. Using Zurich with Luke. Getting another vamp out. That's an interesting gag. That's the first time I, I see that right yeah, now. Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, the vamp is trying to block. Interesting. Well, it makes sense though because it is his prey. It is his prey. Must must feel pretty confident that he can stop the pandas, uh, the remaining pandas, basically. Or that the Asimate can do something about it. But because if this runs off of Luke Fellows, however, I guarantee you we're going to see Orb of the Best. Yeah. Form of Nest continues, get some stuff. How to block this guy? Is. Sometimes that's all you need is just that one additional stealth. 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, this deck is hot. It's hot. Your hand locks <laughs> like twice per turn. <laughs> Doing all kinds of things. That's nice. So we bled. Uh, put some blood on Vampire. What's it doing now? That's already five bids worth of action. Uh, that's very nice. He's hesitating. He's... Yeah, you could go for Monreal. You, can, you, can, you could do a number. We, we, we don't know what he's got in his hand. so Yeah. Plus it's Sabbath, so he could go for the vote here, <laughs> depending on uh, what the time table is thinking, uh, if the Asamite has a card to discard or something. Oh, he's trying to get Robert Carter. Small oh, bleed. Interesting. Ooh, but that will so... cost some blood, so it has Idleberg. Moves out. So she has obfuscate superior, she can play the instantaneous transformation to unlock. Um that's not so bad. Or can she? Um she would need the both at superior. Or at least she can play it for stats. That's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Contesting so... information highway here. That's a good move. Hard yeah. hard hard hit cross table. Uh it's very hard blow for for Ewell here because it's really slowing down the deck not having that card. Well, the other thing too is that um, they're really kind of up against a wall um, because they only got five pool left, and their prey has seventeen pool. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what the play is other than trying to spite somebody across the table. Or maybe they need to cycle cards and just get it the hell out of their hand, and that's yeah, you're how right. they're doing it. Probably cycling. <laughs> but down, down to five, put it into something. I would have expected a Nash tablet at that point, but uh, maybe he's not running so many of them. But if you are if you don't have the extra Asher tablets... Yeah. You know, that and we... All right, so, we, yeah, we did see a second... Uh, second Anarch. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, basically pacing hand is up uh, at seven. Must hunt. Well, no, you didn't get three pool from the edge for no reason at all. That's literally <laughs> what the deck does. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Taking pool out of the edge. Uh, yeah, don't, don't forget, people watching are not um, listening to the Discord right now. So, uh, oh, now, uh, uh, somebody was, yeah, somebody was complaining that, you know, uh, Carl got three pool from the edge for no reason. But, like, uh, yeah. as Inferior Babel said in the chat, that's literally what the deck is designed to do. Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to see a plan come together. <laughs> uh, choose one or more Methuselah, successful referendum. It's each Methuselah burns one pool plus three to control vampire capacity four or less. That could hit the pandas. That could hit everybody. Well, he would. That's one counter on a limit. Yeah. So he's. I didn't hear who he's targeting. Me neither. He's discarding, of course, three votes against. Did he just target his prey with that? I do not understand the terms. We'll see because he's burning a limit, uh, the counter from a limit to get the vote he needs. Yeah, I guess it's just a prey. 
I would have hit the whole table with that. <laughs> Everyone but myself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Artists put, put a dancing car, you know, and it's a... Uh, uh, is bleeding. More counter on element. Now, if he keeps enough count, at least a counter, uh, he can probably support Volt to remove the lead. For the Gessie of Panda. But I don't think that he needs to now. He's got his prey yeah, on the ropes. Yeah. You're right. Bleeding for loss. It's down to seven. Ah. That's not much. I don't think we're going to see much more out of him. Yeah, probably the Pandas are, right are, 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 are getting taken down. That's may, that may be the end of them. Like, plus, you want to keep bear in mind that um, we've got no secrets of the Magaji at Ugalbega. Yeah, you're right. You've got the no secrets on the Mega. That means so he's not really going to do much anything unless he's going uh, to block. He can block a lot here. You will need additional stats, something at some point. Usually. You can run some change of target or something, but you don't have, you don't play disciplines with the pandas, so no steps for you. Syrian. All right. Let's see. Got about an hour and a half left in the game. Still a lot of time left. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, still a lot of game left to play too. So he's not paying for the vine. <laughs> Maybe his player was uh, will will have the time to play a uh, play a villain or something. Played for trip to fetch an event. Because right now he's got. What should he shoot for here? Veil of Darkness? I don't know. Ooh. And there's four counters elements. So basically, whew, I don't know what Errol has left to do. It's going to save for his game. Here. I gotta step away for a second, but I'll be right. Yeah, back. sure. Take a break, man. <laughs> yeah, he fetched the veil. That's understandable. That's that can really cripple the whole table, but uh, can cancel out some loss. The action we just saw from uh, from the night. Uh, hard blades that's one but especially you can really uh tear down the grinder like countering some uh ace of argus uh any kind of intercept he has that kind of stuff uh he will try that kind of stuff <laughs> Redirecting a bit here. That's a very tense table anyway. The bleed, getting some blood out of the dreams. I try, tries to resist a bit. Back to seven pool. 
Well, given the horde of Asamites here, uh, that will be a challenge to survive another turn. Place a Veil of Darkness fetched earlier. Yeah, that's hard for everybody uh, because you have to check the card in place uh, every time you, you replace a card. Just to make sure uh, your discipline didn't get cancelled every time you play the discipline with a vampire. It's a nightmare to, to have on the table, especially online. <laughs> but uh, it's really good card in the pandas because they don't use the disciplines at all. So it can cripple the rest of the table that are using them. All right. All right. Let's see. It's still Errol's turn. We get a... No, no, no. It's uh, Nikita playing. Bleeding hard. <laughs> Oh, okay. We've got Veil of Darkness. Yikes. Yeah, Veil of Darkness. So uh, it was a govern it was a govern down, govern superior to put some blood, but he had to show that uh it was drawing conditioning just to not get cancelled by Veil. Yeah. It's confusing having this card around. Like <laughs> it's such an interesting card that is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, but when you're playing live, like uh, in real, it's okay, you know, you just uh, mm -hmm. get an habit out of it. But when when playing online, it's really a pain, uh, an additional pain, <laughs> because everybody yeah. forgets about it. Uh, you don't know which card you, you, you've taken, you have no way to mm -hmm. check, I don't know. All right, and looks like we've got three Anarch Revolts on the table now. Yeah, here you go. More Vantru for the blocks, Cherry is out. Nick's are playing on eight Anarchs. pool. Yeah. Um, Plus, you have so many counters on Element right now that basically the pandas can go can get a vote through. They don't get the ascent of the predator. So yeah, I mean, maybe if the, if the cross table were okay to go fetch some vampire from top, uh, but even then. Mm -hmm. That, that's too much blood to just. But that's also, I mean, he's got four vampires to torpor. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Luke is, looks like Luke's going to hunt. He's hunting because uh, he took a damage from Robert Carter. Yep. I thought he would use uh, Heidelberg, but he, I think it's confident he, he gets, it goes through, plus mm -hmm. he unlocks. Of course. Yeah. Then the instantaneous transformation. A stupid card of the deck. <laughs> I like this deck. Yeah. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous just how much mileage. He's playing probably 12 or 15 of them. <laughs> I bleed for three. Trying to block, but uh, you don't have enough intercept here. Yeah. Just a twisted forest way of uh, getting it through. Just cycling the under. Well, the twisted forest is, is only one stealth. He does, uh, Nana does have. Uh, she, Mr. Has, she has an intercept? No. Yeah, Mr. Winter. Oh, I didn't see <clears> it. Where is it? Well, right, second stealth, yeah. Oh, yeah, here it is. Lead for three. Lead no. for three. Ouch. What will probably happen is... Down to four. Uh, I, have a, I count one, two, three, four here. <laughs> and Robert Cutter moves around tomorrow. Takes some blood. Yeah. And I scarred this Heidelberg. <laughs> It's unlocked because of the bleed. She's bleeding for three. Andre is trying to block. He's blocking. She's going for a fourth mist.
Oh, it was cancelled because of Hacken. Because of what? Because of Hacken. The Veil of Darkness. Revealed Hacken. Form of Mist is cancelled. Oh, okay. He was thinking of getting it through and lunging with that. Yes. It will do Earth Melt instead. You see how Veil can be painful here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're waiting for all to die now. <laughs> so that's a problem for Carl. Um, yeah. That means his lunch won't work now. Um, can I do four that with sucks. just an art all? Investigation yeah. too. Jesus. Yeah. Plus, it was for an echo investigation. Standing just behind. Uh, like a serious dominant <laughs> deck that can really bleed for six or seven, you know. <laughs> well, it's not discarded. He has the Arcan Investigation in hand. <coughs> oh, um, we got an Eagle Sight. Oh, Eagle Sight here. Trying to block uh, the bleed of spray, stopping him. Oh, cancelled by the veil. Forget about it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, do cancel. It's rare. It's rare to have so many cancelled out of the veil. So it's a bit four three still going on. Maybe we have the chat back online. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've, I've been trying to like reconnect to the uh, the stream, and there's still like an issue. Okay. I'm not seeing any chat, but I do see the stream. You do see the stream. That's you know <laughs> what matters so. here. Everybody's confused right now. <laughs> it, it would be a pretty good... Pretty good what? It would be a good play for Carl to go Anarch with three Anarch revolts at the table. To go on Anarch, yeah. I was discussing uh, maybe going on a... Because he did. Yeah, it's trying to do it. Stop. Adding some stats because Neighbor John is trying to block that. Plus one intercept. Let's see some more. Yeah, it won't be easy Stop. to get through uh, the grinder here. It's oh. Good. It's He's good. not going to burn the two blood from Moro. <clears throat> Unless he's got a, because uh, the veil of darkness won't trip again if he throws another. Uh... The full fist, yeah, it's only once per turn. But uh, it doesn't look like he has one. <laughs> he's hating a veil of darkness here, yeah, of course. Yeah, and you know. Veil of Darkness giveth, Veil of Darkness taketh away, because he got <laughs> yeah. saved. And that's my last turn. Of course, going for the put tablet. I'm trying to stay in the game. Down to one pool, yeah. Getting back to four. Um, that's a hard one for him. Oh. I didn't see... Getting the information way back. Just 
Sight might be up. Yeah, I think so. Hi, Imperial Bubble. Hi, back. <laughs> we had a minor Twitch issue. Uh, lost the chat for a while. Yep, I'm, I'm still not seeing anything in our chat, in the uh, stream chat. Damn. I'm still trying to connect. Oh, but uh, I, I, I see the chat myself. So at least uh, Imperial Bubble is here. <laughs> That's Darby. Um, we got the chat back. That's nice. Oh, there it is. Whoa. I'm not even sure what happened. Another dreams. But here's the thing, you know, does Reaper like Reaper's prey has eleven pool. Yeah. Where like at it's... what point do you decide that I need to oust my prey to survive? But he keeps going backwards. <clears throat> you know, if he put Yeah. All of the effort that he's put into Carl on his prey, maybe successfully yeah. trying to stop Carl from getting hit, getting to him. You're right. You're right because next you know, turn he would have uh, ousted his prey by. It's a it's a lo losing stance here. Next turn, uh, the Asamite will play Gun in his boon uh, and times the like. They get six pull back. How do you get through yeah. that? You know, maybe he plans on playing. I don't know a dozen of rebels or something. <laughs> But even then, like he's he's going so hard into Carl that yeah, yeah. you know, like if he had just taken that energy and dumped it into his prey, it wouldn't be Maybe the prey would be dead by now. But Carl is bleeding for nine per turn right now. It's <laughs> untenable. But there but then there's nothing he can do to stop it. So he's really only helping, you know, somebody oust Carl now. I don't know. Than... He's, he's rushing. Uh it works like let's bleed the next turn. What would you do instead? Uh, it's down to three pool. You have to do something. <laughs> I mean, hey, playing cards for the sake of playing cards to draw something that might help you. I mean, yeah, that's valid. Know. But he's also got uh, his prey has. I can see in chat. But, it's also it's bias. It's always going back. <laughs> he may be right there. But also too. Uh, his prey has a vampire that's got fame on it. You're right. There's a fame right here on the vampire with like, one blood. I mean, I don't know if people, like, if, if anyone remembers that, but it's just like, like shit. <laughs> dunk Basir, rescue him, and then dunk him, dunk again, him again into Torpor yeah. with a key <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Uh, it's a really hard play the rush decks. That's the reason it's hard to go forward. Um, but I, I agree with you. He had the kind of pressure he would need I mean, to take down the prey here. We did the revolt, the deep song that can be used as blades of fame. Um, a lot of tool just for doing no damage to, to the prey's pool here. It's a, it's a bit sad. You know, Inferior Battle brings up he had a soft target that bleeds for three and give two to somebody else. Like in this instance, you know, I do kind of get it. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I said, sometimes you do need to bloody your predator's nose. Yeah, you're right. To keep yourself up in the game. But with just the amount of effort and energy in the game that's been put backwards instead of forwards. Like I said, Basir's, I don't, I don't even know how long Basir's had fame. Five turns? Six turns? No, no. It's Maybe been a three, while. three or four. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like, why is this guy still ready? <laughs> it's that time I turn. Oh, they go for the glory. Of course, getting for the oust here. He was done at seven, and he thinks he can he can oust him and gain four pull more out of it. Discussing the card, it's not uh, it's not often seen on the table, but it's a classical inclusion in Asamite decks. Um, yeah, just not so often that you see an Asamite deck in the finals. <laughs> I 
So Leiben Asamite, where are they going with that? <laughs> Go for a kind, yeah. Hmm. Kind of discussing the cards, seeing if everyone has direct intervention, dealing tactics or something. Lots of table talk going on. Of course, because it looks like the Asamet is ousting the prey uh, this turn, right? <laughs> Carl brings up, you don't want your new prey getting six pool from me. And that's a nice point from him. That, that's that's a valid thing to start planning ahead. I, I didn't say it, but he played the Pentex back again on neighbor Dunn here. The poor guy, uh, second Pentex version here. Um, oh, where, when did that happen? Uh, beginning of the turn, it's a cut from the Asamite. Oh, the Asamite's played. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I already played it. Burning counters from Alamut. Three from the play and one into uh, Marius here. Carl has basically been asking for, for the additional points just to make sure he can lunge. Marius is down at five. Looking mm. for one. Down to three. Down to two. Down to one. And the last, that's it. Ten pulls from the Kabar. Plus the counter is an element, right? I don't see that yet, but... Um... He was looking for Carl was looking for a, a rescue. Yeah, he's looking for a rescue. But Olubanga has the votes bombs from the Kaba, the additional bleed here. Uh Pentex has been put on neighbor. Can go for a bleed simply. Mm. Can go for a vote. Uh, yeah, he's left he's left using Carol the rescue basically. He's officially out. Yeah, that's the end of the panda. Man, I didn't see that coming. There's I mean, in the first turn, I was sure we would take his first VP and everything. First out of the game. That's hard for him. You know, and now the dynamics of the table really shifted because, you know, if Syrian can keep up with that momentum, um, yeah. let's see, his new prey has eight pool. You know, we'll see where that. Yeah. But that's it. First time rest, first hand, and already the grinder is getting into action, trying to block. Clocking it uh, with the gathering. That's a nice move. Nice card for an embrace lake. But things are going to get hard for Carl if he can't let uh, get a vampire to go anarch. Yeah. He would need that to visit Marius, but Marius won't let him go. I mean, if he goes anarch, he will just take down the vampire. Ark Marius is saying us in, in chat that Marius' target here is ready to go down to a three-player game and try to get from there because he has a rush deck. But mm -hmm. really hard for them now. I, I mean, their axis of the table, like uh, Nikitsa and Marius, they're down to five and eight pool, and they're yeah. between two predators that are very strong. 
at 10 and 12. Uh, it's really a tight, tight spot for them. You know, it, you know, and having a predator that has seven minions that can act, like yeah. even if he's got all of the wakes in the world. Yeah, you're right. That's you know, a lot of the smites, yeah. That's still a lot of cards. But it, it took down the it, it took down the small it took, opening. Yeah, it took down the panda in two turns. So I don't know. But but the Asamites do have stats, so that would be a bit hard to cut. Um, but I, I don't I don't know where card is sitting here. Will he manage to lunch? Will he just break uh, from the rushes from Nana? Uh, uh, oh. looks... Pentex is gone. And it Pentex didn't do uh, anything going full defensive against like the Asamite. Uh, the turn counter is actually off by one. Uh, yeah, it is definitely because uh, it was moved before the oust, I think. Yeah. Well, also, it's Errol's still playing. sitting in his seat. Yeah. So yeah, I cannot forcefully remove him. I'm not on the table. <laughs> yeah, they figured it out. Yeah, like he can just yeah. stand up. They're, they're asking him to, to leave the table. That's it. It's done. Yep. Bleeding for three with Moro. Yeah. Nana is trying to block. Raise Mr. Winthrop. And we're going to see plus one uh, stealth. Yeah, the stealth from the transformation. From the transformation, and then one from. One from the Twisted Forest. Yeah. Yeah, the cat's guidance. Here you go. A little bit yeah, of intercept dead. from plus one intercept. That's a good one. She uh, does have superior obfuscate. She does have superior obfuscate, but she doesn't want <laughs> so many stealths in the deck, I guess. <laughs> Too many transformation. <laughs> Not enough lost in crowds. Damn. So now he's blocked. Maybe he still has a form of mist, you know. That's a good, good cut to him. Yes. But Nana could take uh, an immortal grapple to him. All right, we got crows. We got crows. Oh, oh. yeah. Animal Carl grapple. Just dumped her into torpor. That's it. So no combatants from from the grapple. Just to make sure she, he gets more yep. uh, neatly. Everybody's in torpor. Okay. Except for uh, Luke. Except for Luke, but Heidelberg cannot be used uh, to but, recover you know, the retainers and everything. That's a shame. Carl is just. <clears throat> up against a wall. Yeah. Like his predator is ready to <laughs> take down anything he tries. Plus he's losing uh, three pool from the revolts here every turn. Uh, yeah, that's, that's... That is harsh. They are working together with the revolts to take down the, the rest, like the whole half of the table. It's typical from a four-player game. Um, I think like it uh, always comes down to these two diagonals of players playing mm -hmm. like in team against the other team. Like a five player game is a bit different, but when you're down to four, yeah. it's really two against two, well, plus uh, two for a while. Yeah, and like plus the you know the dynamics because you know Syrian has twelve pool and is really you know coming through very much strong like Syrian is just hitting their stride. Yeah. And can really be in a good place. Yeah, but uh, three of the works in, in play, it doesn't have an arc. Two tablets are back. You know. Ah. Yeah, and, you know, Carl does bring up a good point where it's just like, you know, having to deal with three anarch revolts and just getting hosed by the Veil of Darkness yeah. You know, on yeah. his lunch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that was that really was really hard. Really hard. Yeah, it took him off balance completely. Right, a rush from Ama, Ama, for Amaravati, so it's not for the fame. Um, I guess Miles decided he was uh, key I mean, to the deck. Unless he's looking to send Amaravati to to Torpor, which he may very well be. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> Go Tom Cyphers, the car and throws the immortal grapple. The whole jingle is here. I mean that's five and change, depending on what what else he 
Yeah, Seven thing well. damage with well mocked. The press from the grapple, I guess. That's it. That is done in top. I'm not sure where Asamet is, as well his best play here is to try to take down his prey. Maybe he could try to help Carl get down the whole Nanaburu Kumombo Jumbo here. Well, I mean, you really still should be able to, you know, focus on your prey. So for the, if the Asamites are able to squeeze even a couple of pool out of Syrian, my or, uh, is yeah. a, it's eight pool on 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 the grinder here on Nikita's side. Mm -hmm. Two of them are unlocked. It depends on his hand, I guess. If he has enough stealth, he can yeah. try to go through. Testing the dreams. Testing dreams on on his last counter. That may be a risky move. <laughs> Just cycling the cards. Well, I mean, sometimes it's what you got to do. You have to make bad plays to get the cards. Get you the need good to cards. Make good plays, you know. <laughs> exactly. He's done at six, so. He's bleeding for three. Yeah. Does he, and did he take the. Yeah, he did take the three for. The yeah, yeah, he took, he took for the votes. He's done to six. That's a harsh. Getting some stealth with the base of the, the, the legions. And there's the deflection. Yeah, that's a good deflection. Now of the deflections are going to come out. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see one from the start of the we game. Haven't seen, we haven't <laughs> I think that's the first one we've seen all game. Yeah, because there are not so many bleeds. I mean, there were not so many bleeds. Only Carl was bleeding up to like, that point. Uh, the leadership getting some pullback. That's yeah. really smart. And like, and, and what does resurrection care? Because just like you know, venture grinders like doesn't matter to them how much pool uh, their predator even block that. Even block that. Probably not. That is actually uh, my going for it. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of talk Predators trying to convince uh, the grinder to block. It's very <laughs> classical when you have a wall deck. Everybody is trying to make you block something. <laughs> yeah. Of course, he, res he resisted that. Some stealth again. Yep. Uh, how much uh, intercept do you want to connect locked. with uh, when you are still look sitting here, just waiting for an opening? <laughs> And still playing on the key vive, uh with Nana uh, before the Predator Act. So really, yeah, that's that may be painful. The judge will be painful. See that. Well, I'm sure. Or at least all the rest of the players will remember. I'm sure Carl has noted that. <laughs> yeah, and there's a consanguineous boom. There goes the boom. But maybe what you should have blocked. Oh, there's still some block power Such here. Such a savage yeah. way. But you have a cloak the gathering. Come on, you um, can... oh no blocks. No blocks, but but he's unlocked, so that's bad. That's so bad. Uh, how much is that? Eight. Seven. Eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, yep. five, six, seven, Eight plus pool. the one in top. Eight pull. That's a lot. Oh, up to 16. That was a master play. Like, that, was, uh, that, that could very well have been game changing for uh, yeah. Syrian. Yeah, yeah, because. Uh, and Archmage is saying, oh, uh, Syrian's got themselves into a bad situation by focusing on their prey. But all it takes is one really good consignment boon. He's got like. 
leadership, every... the boon, and both of them <laughs> goes through. Even Tobias tries to wax and block everything, and he has a Winthrop up. I mean, uh, damn. <laughs> Very well played. If he had kept the under QB, he could have played Winthrop, Syrian? then the Savage Way pulled intercept. Uh, maybe he could have blocked the boon. Even if Basir goes to Torpor, Syrian can just eat it and then just wait everyone else. If he can yeah. keep himself afloat, he can just yeah, wait yeah. everyone else out. You're right. He already, already has his VP. Oh, he's blocked. He has the pain. They're discussing it. <laughs> How much to not <laughs> kick your teeth in? How much to not kick your vampire <laughs> down to total? Okay, he's dealing for no more damage this turn. Seems fair, I guess. Probably wasn't planning on doing any more damage, or it. that was more or less the end of it anyway. Hunting. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. You could have tried to block the hand. Yeah, how weird that, you know. <clears throat> My, this is trying some kind of Finnish politics here. If you don't bid, I have to rush, you know. <laughs> like you wouldn't rush anyhow. <laughs> Unfortunately, Carl, I've not really seen a uh, a way out for Carl at this point. He's just he's down to one minion. Yeah, it's hard for him. And it's the beginning of the bleeds here. Like this could be it for him because he does have superior dominate. We saw a condescending on the vein. Uh, earlier, so he's blocking, but he only he didn't, he didn't really hit. thwap him with the sticks. No, he did hit for one simply, keeping the sticks for the predator. I get Ooh, another bleed for one, no block this time. That, uh, that's just one down to three with three, with three levels out. I mean, that's it. He's Is that three pool calm? Very conservatively. Yeah. Very calm play from uh, from resurrection here. Passing the turn. Because at this point, resurrection's kind of got Carl where he wants him. So it's just like until <coughs> other That's parts it? of the table start collapsing. He's out. Oh, and yeah, he was out from uh from the revolts. Three points from the revolts. Yep. Yeah. Very calm play from the kicks on. Down to so three, so that begin, uh, that begins to be interesting. That's a good spot to be for for the rush deck, I guess. He may control the fallout, but he everybody has one VP, just not him. <laughs> yeah. Getting a villain on Andre. Yeah, they're arguing that maybe you should have removed uh, the revolts earlier, the Islamic player. <laughs> Probably, yeah. You had you had like two embers that didn't play yet. Uh, Spread two were locked out, was all locked out. Could have gone for the yep. tablets, Montreal, anything really. Uh, not the tablets, but I mean the revolts here. Yeah. Getting some breathing room to his uh, questionable partner. Okay, so rush from Owen Owen events. Ten 
Stomp sign burst, motor grapple, plan, five damage. Wow. Ooh. It's preventing, get a press. It's preventing one, always well marked. Pressing with a grapple. Pressing with inner strikes to stop it, of course. Yes. Yeah, into, <laughs> into, gay, into play. Oh, and then there's oh. the taste, but he prevented the that damage. Yes, it's test for zero. Very nice move, the hidden strength. That's really why it's there. Yeah. Remove taste, remove a disarm, all that kind of stuff. You only get one prevention per the press, but uh, it really cripples the, the deck of the, of the opponents. I like it. Bidding with Andre. Really good play. Very nice play from Nikita, yeah. Solid. It would not be so easy to take down the Vantru. It's blocking with the Embrace. Yeah, it's a bit for two, basically. You can't like, <laughs> let that true to, to easily. Cycling the taste. <laughs> but if it's clogging up your hand, and yeah, he's yeah. only got I one mean, two cap vampires anyway. You have to go for that. <clears throat> Not like there's a lot of blood on blood on the table to take back. Oh, Nangila is getting out, and that's a big one. Now we've just reached real sad boy hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a sweet spot for for the rush deck. Yeah, he's up to twelve pool because of all the pool he gets from uh, Montreal and uh, mm -hmm. Bar Market all that. And yeah, of course, uh, Villain earlier, and Nangila has a. Rush. And also, he's got a nine card hand. Because between Nana. Yeah. There are tons of great, great decks, all of them. I mean, the Asamite Lyman is very fun uh, to see unfold. The Grinder is a classic. Uh, Guru uh, Rush is also kind of a classic. Yeah. This is a very aggressive rush version. More aggressive than the one with so uh, winning the EC, but and it is very hard to play a grinder deck and knowing like any kind of uh, wall or intercept deck where it's you really have to know what to block, when to block it, and Definitely. what to let slide. Definitely. I would advocate for the same for the rush decks. Very hard. Like we discussed every decision Marius made in that game. Like should he rush there? Should he go backwards? Should would it have been better to go forward? It's very hard to figure it out, figure out. So And sometimes too, just like you know, the cards that you draw. Like if you dr don't draw the cards you need when yeah, you need them. Yeah. The you know, it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, like the, it's going yeah, to be hard yeah, yeah. for you. The, the cards decide for you in a, a bit. Down to the Asamite player, so he's hunting. It's very close, like 13, 12, 13. You know, and it's it's kind of interesting to see uh, how the table's setting in, settling into this new equilibrium. Yeah, like they, they kind of reach a balance here. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, on the tip of a wave after after two hours. Very nice. But <clears throat> any given player is only like one bad play away from things collapsing out from underneath them. Yeah. You know, if uh, you know, if Syrian loses a couple more vampires, or Basir goes to torpor. That's going to be like a real kick in the teeth for him. Uh, you remove, if, you remove two, two revolts. Yeah, with the embraces. If uh, and Resurrection the has a minion that goes to Torpor or uh, Neighbor John, something happens to him. Yeah. Like that's going to put a real debt in his game. If uh, Reaper. Yeah, and that, that, can, be, be, that can be uh, an issue for Marius because uh, if. Uh, Lori gets the house first. Uh, that's two VP for him. So Marius cannot hop from better than a, than a draw out of the game. He cannot let his any of of the other players take a VP out here. Yeah. 
that has to yeah. control the old table and take them both down, like, you know, uh, kind of a parallel way uh, at the same time, more or less. So, small uh, neural bridge. approximately an hour remaining. Yeah. We'll going for time. A lot of votes here on the Asamai side. Like, you know, I, I really enjoy playing a deck sometimes that has a lot of moving parts to yeah. it, but like this Asmite deck where it's just like, it breathes, it bloats, but it also has like a bunch of other things that it's been doing where it's just like, I'm having trouble like actually just following. It's kind of, I, I, I kind of see this uh, build as a Namaravati Asmite vote deck. Uh, you see that in Death Star when you when you play Arnark. Uh, it's a live on version, but it's very close, in fact, um, to the Arnark version of the Death Star, or like the old school version of uh, just an Asamite Swarm uh, getting there with the votes. Yeah. You could play it with Camary, I guess, also. Really, the key here is something between having Halamut, um, decent stats, and uh, you get your voice through, you get points on element yeah. thanks to the vote, a lot of embraces, and uh, well, go from there. But also, too, like he's had element out for almost the entire game. Yeah. So that's like just, like I said, being able to get the cards when you need them. Like, element, like yeah, you need that. He has to roll up an element later in the game rather than like his second turn. Totally, you're right. Like, that's, there's a lot of uh, utility uh, that he's getting yeah. out of that card. He, he probably hurt. plays three or four of them, but still having it in second turns early. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think what we have happened? a disconnection here. Marius left the game. Uh, they're probably dis probably disconnected. <laughs> this is going big to be a mess because uh, towards the yeah, end yeah. of the turn of the Asanite, he has to redo everything. <laughs> And we're in for two minutes well, of replay. I think you here. can save the game. Well, nobody saved. I cannot save the game because I'm not sitting on the table. Oh. Sadly. Or I would save the game like at every turn or something. <laughs> I hope you're taking notes of this too. All these things that Lackey is screwing up. <laughs> that... <laughs> Well, the connection is really the most disturbing one, yeah. I think it's a good simulator. Um, works for like the, the biggest part of the play. Uh, it's good enough. It's just such a pain when you get disconnected that the server yeah. does not have a state of the game that you can just download and uh, restart where you are. Uh, you have to reload the save um, yeah. from your last turn and uh, replay everything. It's a nightmare. Ahmed is saying, not sure if you can call it an Asanite deck. I don't know. Like most of the successful Asanite decks that uh, really uh, win finals and everything tend to be vote decks, in fact. You know, it is very unorthodox you know, in terms of what they are supposed to be good at thematically. Yeah, thematically, the Asanite are supposed to be assassins, so you're supposed to be able to have good rush and everything. Yeah. There's this archetype of uh, Tyreek, it's a world that everybody has tried to play at some point. It doesn't win so many tournaments. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's really good at ousting one person yeah, and then folding. <laughs> and then falling apart. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't see so much... Uh, Good combat action out of Asanites uh, in tournaments, and that's a bit of a shame. Which, you know, on the face of things, I really like watching an orthodox deck. Uh, for you know, watching an, orth an unorthodox deck kind of like do something that's unexpected. It's really fun to watch. Yeah, like but 
this this uh, honestly this uh, gang red on tribute deck from Carl was awesome. Yeah. Like it made it to the final. It, it was really in a good spot at some point. It really got messed up just because of a uh, of a bad veil. Yeah. <laughs> bad luck. Straight up bad luck. Straight up bad luck. Um Oh, yeah, looks like we have some more technical difficulties. Yeah, they're on. discussing the reload. That's it. All right, now oh. somehow you're sitting at the table now. Someone has, uh, someone has dropped. Yeah. Okay, we're in for another another two or three minutes. Um. All right, it looks like the... Uh, Timer's been paused for potty break, which I think I'm going to go take advantage of. So, yeah, you're right. Let's take a break. <laughs> we have some discussion on um, on the chat here, so yeah, maybe on the new set we will get a good balance uh, on the old cards, some combat for the S and it's like I would love that. Uh, something uh, give them back the team, man. They're supposed to be good assassins. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Blood says it has more to do with quiet as being bad uh, as a discipline. Yeah, well, you know, uh, in the new version, they will get Blood Sorcery, so basically Thermatogy, uh, the new uh, Asamite version, uh, probably. So that may be nice. Changes a lot of things, and you don't get quite Quietus anymore. I like Quietus. It has some good cards, not many of them, and definitely not so many good combat options, I guess. Plus, they don't have prevention. Yeah, I mean. So, we're waiting for Lori to get back. Hey, is. Okay, we are back on the beginning of the turn of Lori. He has to play everything he did play back again. Yeah, you could play Rego Motor with Asamites. I don't know really, like the V5 uh, version of the new Asamites uh, in the role playing game, you know, they get blood sorcery, like everything is match. Uh, quiet is, is kind of a. Uh, a path of blood sorcery, like so, the two nails, two metages, a path of so, blood sorcery, everything. It's been a while since I found anything. Yeah. Oh, worried about her stories. Definitely, it's better. Better combat discipline that caters itself. So, that may be better, but you wouldn't need new, new SMIs with, with that discipline. So they're discussing the turn, basically trying to replay everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually like a big problem with um, Serpentis and Necromancy as well. And um, Mirrors, which is like all of the disciplines from well, that set just ended up being so expensive. Yeah, but as, as a role-playing game is making a dent into that, merging, you know, necromancy into oblivion uh, with optimization and yep. uh, merging uh, serpentis with, what was that, protein or something like that? So if yep. VTS follows the path of uh, the role-playing game of V5, um, that means a lot of change. I don't know when we will get some kind of uh, new edition of the Akata, like the Giovanni and uh, the Harbingers and everything, but... Uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what Black Chantry does with uh, some yeah. of the changes that they're going to have to make with, to, you know, to reflect what's happening in V5. Um, on the whole, I actually like the idea of condensing everything down into like, like how many shape changing disciplines does the does game actually need? need? Yeah. I totally agree. I mean, at least on the role-playing side of things, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know how how that will translate in the in the cards, but that can be graceful. That can be even better. Yeah. Well, 
like there, I have two different schools of thought when it comes to stuff for like from a game design standpoint. And it's either every clan should have its own unique discipline, or nobody gets a unique <laughs> discipline. Like it, it, it really will all do that. Yeah. All right. So it looks like uh, they have sorted everything out after yeah, the disconnect. I think that's it. He's ending his turn. <clears throat> This card's no secrets. Getting the hand size down to seven uh, after the dreams. Yep. And the Bamba and Embrace. <laughs> Not enough blood anymore to, <laughs> to get all those vampires out. My playgroup actually used to use dreams of the Sphinx a lot of the time, but it was mostly just for the pool game. Oh, yeah. Either pool on vampires or pool if they had the edge. That's right. Nice. Um, I was actually the one that started using stuff for, hey, I'm okay. going to take two cards. I'm going to get a good card. <laughs> and it's just all like. You came up with that move? Yeah, Chris, huge, you're that huge. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's huge. That's like how you see dreams uh, used most of the time nowadays. So yeah. Really... Nice it's to have found the source, man. <laughs> <laughs> the source of it all. <laughs> this rate, uh, well, <clears throat> Pasca, old old world uh, Zemishi have animalism, aspects, and dominate historically, and they lost uh, dominate for resistance. To yeah, that's kind of the story in the role playing game here, and maybe they will get back uh, some dominate. Uh, like in the new edition, because uh, we saw that in the in the supplement for the role playing game, they get back dominate. Yeah. So, and um, even like when they did a uh, vampire the requiem, the Ventru in you know the alternate universe world of darkness had yeah. animalism dominate Don't fortitude because they fortitude. had dominion over. They were the lords of the night. They had dominion over man and beast. That makes which sense. Fit into fits into the thing. And actually, in the LARP that I played in, I was one of, I think... And it's Maya's turn. Yep. Villain for five. Back to Not 13. Not really that surprising. Yeah, that's really... The game has slowed down a lot. Like, everything is more stable. <laughs> uh... Well, you know, after Carl got ousted, like, and the... Uh... That consanguineous boom got called. It's just the, the table has reached like a new equilibrium, so it's going to take a little bit for yeah. you know something to really eat itself out. Uh, and that's a bomb in his deck. And not a single web of knives recruit. Like, yeah. seriously. Just playing Bamba instead. Wow. The um, lucky messed up the cards. Like, he has a Bamba in the deck instead of having it on the table. <laughs> they have to fix the whole situation. It's a nightmare, man. <laughs> that kind of bugs. So the judge is intervening right now, <laughs> trying to making it up, getting a pull from a consignment boom that was one more. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Stop paying attention to things, Hugh. <laughs> well, I mean, like the Asamite player should know how many Asamites he has. <laughs> if he doesn't even I remember. Mean, <laughs> I agree. Uh, Pascal complaining that BCP is slow with the release. Uh, I kind of agree and disagree at the same time. Like, I'm waiting for the new release to come out. I'm so greedy. I want them out so soon and they take so much time, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, they need to prepare it, to play test it a lot, and they play test a lot before uh, they get new cards out. And that makes sense. Yeah. Well, and also, too, like, Black Tantry is very much beholden to paradox as for what comes their way and what they can do yeah. uh, with the material. 
So that's and honestly, like with like the role playing material, like they really, um, you know, coming from White Wolf and Paradox, where um, there's been you know several things that have happened uh, that have been kind of scandalous in terms of how they've treated some of like the source material and background yeah. information. Which, a lot of talk on every Discord and their Facebook pages about um, the game. <laughs> yeah, because like Masquerade is very much a uh, it's a modern goth gothic game, yeah. and realistically, the only difference between V five and the original release of Vampire the Masquerade is who the barbarians at the gates are, because <laughs> again, a hidden release, strength, yeah. It's, the Sabet. The Sabet are coming. The monsters are coming to knock yeah. us out. Now it's the Anarchs. It's the Anarchs. It's really another thing. It, but I, I really like the Switch. But instead, this time, instead of being like, you know, the Sabet being the monster in the, cl the closet, yeah. you know, the Anarchs can still have like a more nuanced take on things. And what a lot of people forget about uh, Basquerade is that you're supposed to play a neonate. Who's rebelling against the system of elders? Yeah, like like that's literally what the game is supposed to be about. Is you know sticking it to the man and sticking <laughs> it to the established power systems. And the second rush uh, this time to neighbor Jen. So again, uh, hidden strength was played. Denying some more taste. Like all the blood was on Jephta. She was at five. She took uh, five damage. And no taste for you. Uh, thanks again yeah. uh, for the same hidden strength. Yeah. And he's rushing uh, yeah, a neighbor gen with, uh, with Dangela. It's going full backward. Yeah. I don't know yeah, what this I... play is because if, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if Nikita goes out, like if he's ousted by the Sunite, uh, it's let's play, uh, it's a draw for Bias here. Yeah. He won't win. Um, yeah. And he's, he, he won't win at all. It's not even a draw because he will. Oh no, that's not he will. Maybe Marius is highest, uh, um, has a higher seed, and uh, two two is actually a win for him. Yeah, I, is it something I, was, like I like I'm not really sure about who's seeded where because that does actually. Let me check. Yeah, My, Marius, Marius is a third seed, and uh, Lori uh, playing the Asamite is fourth seed. So if they draw, if they do two VP each, it's a win for Marius. Strange tournament rules, man. <laughs> so that may justify why he goes full backward here. He doesn't really care that the SMI might go forward or back a VP. Yeah. Jeff is out. But that's only if he can oust the Asimites with another six pool. Yeah. And how much time is there left? You know? Uh, What's the time I had? Can we do we see the timer uh, somewhere? Or? Uh, 49 minutes, it looks like. Oh. So that's like that's a, that's a really good, a really tough question to answer. I mean, yeah, Marius is is a reaper. Marius is the reaper. Um, Ikarian, it's Lori, and uh, Resurrection is Tikitsa. Yeah. So. But. Oh, I, There's I, a lot I, of discussion going on on the table. I don't know what's going on. You know, but like I've been saying, like there are times where, you know, you do need to to go backwards. Like, and I yeah. fully acknowledge that. But for, you know, the amount of effort that Marius has put in to his predators he could have been dumping that like his prey's <laughs> got a bunch of one cap vampires yeah because it's still you know, the famous just, busy, yeah. you know rush and like he could rush the high cap vampires you know okay flap you go to torpor oh he did rush on he did you rush on you know you know and you know he's, re he's really uh, distributing blows here <laughs> right and left you know Basir is still not in Tarper. Yeah, that's strange. There's a lot of discussion going on the table. <laughs> Lori is turning it out.
Nikisa is trying to negotiate that uh, maybe he should get his VP out. Uh, Marius is trying to negotiate that he can help him make his VP. We don't know where it goes. <laughs> yes, I might play like Lori. He has like He's got eight actions. That's a lot yeah. to block, even from the grinder. You know, yeah. And the grinder doesn't how, really necessarily want... Uh, each turn, so it's just like, how yeah. do you block that many actions? That's a nightmare. But can he take the table, though, between between the wall and the rush? It's a hard game for everybody. Uh, Archmage brings up uh, Marius is worried about losing the timeout. That's why he keeps going backwards. But if, we, if he's worrying about timeout, why not just take down the prey and get your VP yeah. and you're winning? You know, he's in the highest seed here and he doesn't have a VP. Yeah, Marius is the only one without a VP at this point. Yeah. So he has to either yeah. be. His only like choice that? right now is to, to win the game is to either tie out. With, or make a VP uh, and not die. <laughs> you could just or like be, if you could or be the last, last take down the stay. Asanite and uh, and just not die to uh, to dominate from the Vantro, but uh, that's a hard take because the grinder it really has a serious lunge power when it comes down to it. You know, that and you know the grinder does you're like oh they'll just rescue the Asamites. He does not have that much blood left. Yeah. Like, he might be able to do one or two, but it's like, That's and right. he just said. That's exactly what you just said. Like, I don't have the blood for that, sorry. <laughs> oh, going for the heart. That's a, that's a good move. Ooh, really? If that goes through, I mean, that's strong. Uh, he's trying to use cycling cards. He's up at 20 pool. So who's winning, really? Yeah. Um, um, so Lori is winning, right? You can just time out the game, play Consing and Lisbon until the end and win um, with, this, with the Asamites. Um, if nobody yeah, outs if, nobody. <laughs> if he is the highest seed at his victory points, I believe he yeah, wins, correct? I think, I think he is the highest seed, yeah. Like Marius is the highest seed, but he doesn't have a VP with, uh, with Nana and Nangili, yeah. Yeah. And so how we do a VP out. with all this <laughs> that's serious bloat here. Yeah. Already uh, again a leadership. Twenty-four. Like the Asamite deck is equipped to outbloat a serious tilting blade as a predator, and Marius is doing no pull damage to him. So of course uh, he pull goes through the roof. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like, there's really, you know, chat's really been up about, you know, he, you know, Marius has had to go backwards, is you know, in order to secure his own position, but it's just like, vampires can't act if they're in torpor. Yeah. How many rushes has Marius played where he could literally, without any sort of effort, Oh hey, I'm gonna you know dunk this one cat vampire, and then dunk this one cat vampire, and then I'm gonna dunk Basir, and then rescue him, and then dunk him again, doing six pool damage. Yeah, but he doesn't have so many, so much blood to like get him out of torpor again and again. Yeah. But still, I would I would shoot for the Asenite where where I need shoots, but I'm not. I mean, he's a finalist here. I assume he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Maybe we should interview him after the game. Try to, to see how we how he's thinking, uh, why he's playing that way. Um, it's a bit intriguing. But yeah, yeah uh, VPs have not been updated. Uh, Reaper, Marius, he has no VP at all. Uh, Nikitsa Resurrection has one VP, and Lori Serian has one VP too. And uh, Marius is highest seed, and then Lori, and then Nikitsa. So right now, Lori with the Asamite is winning. If no, nothing changes, if nobody is ousted, he wins this tournament. It's like, I don't know, uh, 40, 45 minutes remaining. I mean, there, there's still a lot of game to, 
uh, to play. There's still a lot of cards left to be played. Oh, yeah. Um, ooh, Anarch Troublemaker. That's for me, the table. Interesting. Oh, it's queuing. Interesting. She's going to have to hunt next turn, but... So, honestly, it looks like... Uh, ba, ba, ba. Is, is the turn actually... The turn counter correct? What? Is the turn counter correct? Is it Resurrection's turn? Yeah, it's Naked it's playing. Playing the right. through here. Um, it, it'll be a three, just think, go through, yeah. I think he's got, like, the strongest position. He's right. in a very good position. Because, right now, yeah. he's got the strong. He's in the strongest position. And that's probably um, why uh, Marius is going for him. Trey is he, less cool. Yeah, he's, he's seeing that he can just oust him and winning the tournament here, here and there, because I, I'm not sure the Asamite player can actually oust the grinder here. Well, does don't they doesn't uh, the Asamite player win if they're the last person standing? Yeah, but if Nikitsa oust Marius, like manages to bleed through uh, yeah. the rush, uh, he has two VPs, he's winning the game. That's a very, very, yeah, you're right. I think they all have a strong position. Probably Marius is in the tightest post spot here. Yeah. Uh, it's hard does have two rushes each turn and there are so many Asamites plus he can't sing in his bones. Yeah. Plus knows the you know the gun on <laughs> the banger. Not a not a good one. He's on resurrection higher seeds than Selian. I don't think so. Uh what I was told on the chan is uh Selian has one game win four VP and Nikita has one game win three VPs. Uh, so Nikita is last seed here. Yeah. Marius has one game win 4.5 VP. So he's uh, they're, they're in the tight pockets, all of them. <laughs> Second Govan going through, down to five. Oh. Oof. Yeah, that's a tight spot, but two Ashes standing, you know. <laughs> Next turn, maybe up to eight. You know, it just really depends. Um, he is so low on blood. He's so exhausted here, yeah, like zero, <laughs> zero, zero. Everything's at zero. <laughs> you know, he's going to have to, you know, take a turn to hunt with everyone. I don't know. Maybe he has a green. Maybe he has a green minions in hand. He's waiting for that. <laughs> just put one back to everybody. <laughs> and Yana Kriot is back into uh, into the game. Three tablets, of course. But like the only one that only person that the the the, the role really affects is uh, Sarian. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's just saying, so just take your time. I don't care. How long it takes for somebody <laughs> to resolve tablets? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that it. I'm the only person in my playgroup that really has a significant collection of tablets. <laughs> because a lot of the players in my playgroup are like super old school, you know, haven't really, you know didn't really buy any of the later sets. Ah, okay, <clears throat> that's been replanted um, quite a lot. You know, They're there's definitely so the expensive of, of, you know is this much recursion in the game, especially where you know Vtest is a game of resource management, okay. kind of like at you know it's very basic. So being able to you know get a significant amount, not only a significant resource back, cards that you can play, mm. but um, let's see. So he's taking back a lot of ah, the dragon barn is going back into hand. I don't know what what he would be taking into his hand. Too many tastes. <laughs> but he's got half of his deck, you know, and adding thirteen cards back yeah. to his deck. Yeah. Is going to be huge, and in, it helps in terms craft. Of, yeah, concentration of cards and how you, what you will be uh, actually doing. Yeah, could change a lot of things. 
Absolutely. So. Cat's guidance. What does it take? A lot of wakes. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. Too many blades just go I mean, through. <laughs> signposts, ravens, tastes. Like, yeah. all of this stuff makes sense. All this stuff makes sense, of course. Um, it takes the dragon bomb back into hand. Oh, yeah. that's... Yeah, if you, if you want so to try like it. Try, like, maybe he could try to finally go forward. Yeah, like yeah. rushing Bazir, rushing uh, another little guy, and uh, down with three vampires I mean, in total, playing dragon bomb. You know, Sarian's <laughs> got 23 pool. That's a lot, but uh, if you have 10 vampires but, in total with a dragon bomb, <laughs> but they all you can have die in two turns. Like, it's really... That's an interesting game. It's still tense. Everybody can do anything. Hunting very, or waking here. You know, it's still a very fragile position to be in. Ah, sitting with a stick, of course. And Andre goes to top it. Play Dragon Bomb now. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's still depending on what he can do with Nana and Nagila. It still might be very much worth his while to do so. Oh, totally. I agree. So it's a deep song and it's backwards again. Yes. Or no win, but yeah, it's right that Owen bring, brings back some blood. So he wants a hunt for one. We managed to still run that. I didn't see that move. Trying to get some to avoid some rushes. You know, uh, it needs to make this one be one fast. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you may be right. I, I, I don't know. Uh -uh. Uh, I'm not sure how he, gets, I, uh, yeah, how, how he takes down the Asamite uh, from 30 pool, but maybe with Dragon Bound, it's actually feasible. I don't know. Like, that just, that seems like, a, like, I don't doubt that it's possible, but it just seems like such a very risky play. Well, what I think is, is seeing himself ousted next turn if he doesn't rush. Like, uh, the Vantru player is sitting on Dominate, on 40 studio, probably play some uh, Dawn Operation. But that he's kind of only stuff, got you know? one vampire that can act. No, two, two, because vampires. Owen Owen can, can act. He gets the blood at the beginning of turn. So that's two oh. vampire acting. Uh, one with superior dominate. He can bleed for seven here. Uh, it's exactly the number of pool uh, Minus has. So and That's why everyone should pack at least two uh, Archon Investigations yeah, every probably, deck. Probably. We, uh, we didn't see one on that deck. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Carl, Carl, Carl had one. Carl, Carl had one. got yeah. screwed by his Archon investigation because he drew it for uh, Veil of Darkness yeah. on that one thing. Ooh, all right. So we do see Dragonbound hit the table. Yeah. He figured it was still worth it. So he thinks that he can... At least accelerate the game because he doesn't want to go to timeout in this position. So yeah, no, no. I think that makes sense. Like, win or lose, like he's oh, yeah, win or lose. Down. Let's go for it. But I don't know that drawing cards, cards from the dreams last time. So. I just don't know if. Uh, the Asamites are going to have enough minions get put in a torpor to really yeah. have everyone else capitalize on Dragon Bound. That's a good question. But 23 pool is a lot. Like, even if he got absolutely hamstrung, he got like five vampires put into torpor, yeah. he still gets four plus turns of doing stuff. 
I, I, I don't know how fast that can crumble when, when you put, once you put half of them to top it. <laughs> so, hunt that goes I mean, through. There's also. Totally forgot the heart. That's too oh, late for that now. No, that's too bad. That that's too bad. Hurts. That hurts. It's like so this kind of shitty action, you can, <laughs> can really wait for the next thing like, for them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, being able to take three cards and then figure, okay, what do I need? What's going to help me the most? So is the answer correct? Uh, yeah, it gets plus one insight from Nana. Oh, come on, you don't have an untap? Oh my god. <laughs> And the boon gets so through. Yeah, there... it, cho it chose to, 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 to get the Dragonborn up in hand and uh, the rest of the uh, of the wakes in the library. You know, but, really... yeah. Building for three. Yeah. No, up to 33. Oh, yes. oh, that's a lot, man. A lot to, to grind through. <laughs> yeah, they both have plus one yeah, size. Yeah. But this one, this one. You know, Minus one. He, like... that, that's, that's eight. Oh, sorry. He's really hoping to like be able to oust his prey and then run out the timer there. Uh, maybe he, play what he, he plays what he can, you know, maybe he himself finds himself in a very tight position here. <laughs> uh, TV. So negotiating the block but, with his prey, but that's strange. He, at this point of the game, negotiating is moot. You can either say, oh, <laughs> like he can't. Oh, he's adding so, stuff. Yeah. Like he was right that he couldn't trust any sort of thing. Oh, if you just hit me for one, but it's like, dude, you're my <laughs> prey. You know, I benefit the most by dunking your vampires in the yeah. torpor. But did he play? Oh, no, he played the deflection, right? Uh, yeah, it got deflected to Reaper. To Reaper was trying to block, but uh, yeah, yes, I'm not having it. But then he stealthed it, stealth past it. So that made sense. Try to negotiate with Miles, just block with me for one. <laughs> but hey, down to three player, it's really hard to make some deal because everybody is a prey of somebody else. <laughs> well, that too, it's just like um, really. Uh, like when your prey is trying to negotiate with you, yeah. like you know you've got them in a good position. Like I've had, yeah, been in yeah. a tournament where um, I was playing a bruised bleed deck that wanted to get blocked. My prey is like, "Oh, you have to take out this wall of stuff," and I'm like, "I don't have to do shit because <laughs> I will absolutely hose the wall because it was a uh, a weather control deck, Don, yeah. or you know, weather control Don op deck." So it's just like. Okay, I, I don't care. I the wall. <laughs> he can't hurt me in combat. Because he can't hit. And can't that's prevent. three damage straight to it's a. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. And it's interesting oh, that just okay. at this um, level of players, continuously some negotiation, even in the end, even down to three players when uh, the other player is uh, always either your predator or your prey, they're still negotiating the hell out of it. <laughs> But why would you negotiate with somebody Another that has 40 some, yeah. is 42 pool? <laughs> That's a joke, mate. 42 pool. <laughs> but wow, this is not really this At one. At what point do you Even say... Even with Dragonborn here, he has to take down, like, hold the Asanite uh, and just for a chance to grind the pool before yeah. time out. <laughs> and hope that he survives the grinder. Or just, like, at what point do you say, fuck you, eat my entire ass? <laughs> Ah, uh, probably just in Luanda. Yeah. And Montreal. Stripping the permanence out of I the hands of the world. And I cannot be bled out. You know, if we, we could see, have played like... twice, you know. I, know. <laughs> I think I have pulled enough to bring a new vampire. Yeah, I think he has. Wow. <laughs> He's paying one to see. <laughs> Discarding an element. Has it already? 
Yeah. Don't forget to pay for the dragon. It's a very, very tight, tight spot for miners here. Everything yeah. locked, two pool. That's not a lot. So Nikita still has a game. If he manages to lunge, uh... I don't know. He's swimming, <laughs> but there's a lot of us tonight. Like he would still, <laughs> like he would still have to <clears throat> outlast. Yeah, yeah. He would still have to last, and he's got two vampires that have to hunt this turn. Well, what did not take the blood from, from uh, the special? And yeah. that's going to be it. That's a bonding. That's it. All right. Uh, so yeah. now we are two to one. Nikita's winning this for now. <laughs> but what a predator he has. What, what an opponent there. 40 pool. <laughs> Eight is mats out. Like, honestly, I'll be honest here. I think that that was not the right play. Um, okay. He's got 40 pool, and he's playing a grinder deck that could easily send a bunch of, you know, his predators, vampires, torpor. Like, if he could have kept his prey on the rope, like, just say, hey, yeah. you know, I have you exactly where I want you. Putting some you pool back on the... Try to oust your prey. Yeah. If I leave you alone, you still have to try to oust your prey to stay in the game. You know, so this would be a really great position for the grinder to go backwards. I don't know, you because know, he was not cool. winning. And now he's sitting on his 2 VPs, winning the game. If he manages to block the Asamite and survive, he wins the tournament. He was not winning uh, without giving Marius his VP. And I think a head-to-head -head with the rush deck, you cannot go there. Not with That's, no, 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 it, not blood, nothing on your ventral, he will just die miserably against the guru here. I think that was a correct play from, from, from Nikitsa. We'll see. I think everybody played quite well, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely a tough call. That's a good one because he seemed to be stuck with the vampires in the script here. So we'll see more Samites giving out. So can he do 14 damage? And then more Kanboons. Did he remember to play the... <laughs> no, he did not remember to play the, the Nisketus again. Did he? Didn't draw. That's so bad to have this card out. And two turns already not playing it. <laughs> oh, more pool here. There's another... God damn can sing his book. I think I think he won't block that. He don't care about pool is winning. He will try to survive, won't he? Yeah. 47. What's the time at? How much time do they have left? <laughs> I just figured out he forgot the art. Yeah. More pool. That's such a high bloat, yeah. I've seen worse. But not quite much. Team, yeah. Okay, here, here goes the damage. That would be blocked, probably. No, that's the one. Oh, a reckless agitation. It has a reckless agitation. He that's doesn't surprising. have anyone that's got blood enough to pay it. Yeah, you need to... Plus, he needs, he needs an independent, so... Yep. Bazia could play it. Yeah, and he's getting his cool, so not blocking the kind. So I believe Ooh. everyone else came out of a... Ooh, you're not in a good good position, Nikita, here. See, it's in not blocking the vote. Can he block the bleed? So this one is trying to block. One stealth. Uh. Owen is blocking. One of the things Most that I absolutely love to see, uh, Fernando, who's the person who curates the uh, the lackey plugin, <clears throat> put in multiple versions of a card so that we can see some of the different artwork from over the years. 
It's not really hard yeah. to add uh, cards from different editions, you know, into things. Yeah. I like it. You know, as much as I love uh, a lot of the new artwork, you know, I really love a lot of the classic Definitely. artwork as well. Like, Me artwork too. from Majesty, the original Jihad artwork from Majesty is absolutely yeah, awesome. wonderful. <laughs> that is doing marking a marker for, for 10, Third, you know. <laughs> on, what's that, 13 beads on Element now? Yeah. Oof. So let's go through who is playing Cobalt Glory. Yeah. And right now, uh, Nikita tried to block uh, Failed Awake uh, because too much stealth, basically. But that looks grim for Nikita. But if, if he keeps losing time on Alamut, maybe maybe Nikita will <laughs> win on timeout here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is. Who's the other commentator? You know, What's well, that's Chris I don't really with know. me? Um, there's really not much else left in the game. It looks like it's a game for uh, for Lori here, basically. But you never know. Uh, more I mean, revolt are getting out. He's looking to basically kind of you know run out the clock because he has the lead of victory points. But I don't think that that's can you, you know, do that? Really yes. good eight pool left. Eight pool. <laughs> like he would really have to. I mean, it's that's looking like a really tall order right now. Yeah. Should he, should he destroy the heart? Yeah. 19 minutes? Ah, that's not... Uh, I... I... Ah. <laughs> that's quite a lot <laughs> for, for Jewel. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, especially for, you know, when your prey has 50 pool. Because at this point, you, are, you aren't you are trying to bleed. You're literally trying to run out the clock. Yeah. Which I don't know if that goes with, uh, you know, the play to win. But he had some victory points, so you can just... Win by yeah. resisting, so that makes sense. You know, right? I mean, and that's it. Low return, of course. Full defensive, trying to win uh, by uh, pure defense of the wall. Uh, like that may uh, that may be hard. Caps the edge. Yeah, more pool here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, at some point Nikita will have on the deflection and bleed. Uh, yeah. Cobalt no community. Right oh, the Asamites get plus one steals and bleeding. Ouch. That's a very good one to put there. That's, plus the cover. You know, like, oh my god. He could have just drawn that card and it's clutch, or he could have held that card in his hand since turn one. Yeah. Because yeah. now is the time we to don't play know. that it's card. It's definitely the time to play that. It's a finishing move right there. Ah, the core. <laughs> I mean, that's like, you know, that one scene from Half Big where you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. They forgot the heart again. Really, there's no you point know, playing that card if you don't see it. And the <laughs> horses everyone rode in on. Plus one stealth, plus one bleed. Bleeding. Oh, they just get plus and stuff when bleeding, which is not as bad. <laughs> but by the same token, you know, that really limits what can be done. You know, yeah, yeah. Neighbor John does have the, the stock plus one intercept, but it's not really going to do him a whole hell of a lot of good when everyone's got. Plus one stealth. Yeah, plus he probably still has some stealth card. Yeah, that's it. There he goes. Got the card away. Jesus. Damn. Yeah. Well, 
Now that the third time he forgot the heart and he's pesting about it. <laughs> Maybe stress out. It's really hard to play a duel at this level against a strong player and it's a <laughs> Plus with the stream and people people watching, you know. <laughs> you know That's a lot of pressure. Well too like I've been in the finals of a couple of really, you know, high stakes tournaments and it's just like yeah. I've always found that like the decks do tend to play themselves at some point, like, you know, at a high enough level yeah, yeah, yeah. to where it's just like, right. you know, with enough knowledge of what other people are doing, like you really, your choices are not as numerous as it varied seems. Varied yeah. as it would, you know, as it might appear to be, you know, yeah, to right. an outside viewer. It's really only you know what's in your hand. That's right. Well, well. That's why it's fun to comment because we don't see the hands, yes. so we make a, a many conjectures and oh, maybe you should have done that. Why, why you're not doing that? We don't see the seven cards. When you see the seven cards, the choices are really <laughs> a lot more restrained here. Now, Kion does not have an NR. He paid for, for the revolt, but he has so many pools now. He's got 46 pools, so... Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a loss, getting through with the Faceless Knight. That's down to four. It's our four as a knight on the table. Yeah, bleeding for one. Easy embrace, no block. That's a tight one, mate. <laughs> All of the manga is getting the, looking for the blade. Maybe there's not even an intercept left, you know. <laughs> no block. The last blade is the embrace. Yeah, all of them are plus one stuff because of the community here, yeah, it's really. One plus one plus two plus one. There's I one bullet left in that gun. Talking to <laughs> Look at the green bar here. <laughs> oh my god! And the use there. Yeah, that was a beautiful move here. I don't know why the embrace with the heart didn't get there. He, the last blood. He he can draw this out for another 10 minutes and still win. Yeah, he has the time. Yeah, really... <clears throat> yeah, there's no way we can still get out of it without stalling it. <laughs> you know, especially with one pool left. Like, yeah. There's really, you know, there's not enough. It would take an entire deck's worth of wakes. Just to go through the next onslaught. Yeah. Like who packs more than nine wakes in a deck? He didn't even bother to use the wide view to try to get more vampires out. No. No. <laughs> Using our trouble maker to get rid of the gun. I would have shoot for the heart. <laughs> but he's <laughs> he's forgetting no. it anyway, so <laughs> But I admire that so much. We're just like, no. No, 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 no. Fuck that guy in particular. I'm t I'm burning his gun. So can you play the reckless? Well, Basie could play it, or any embrace he does because he's independent. And you never know during a game; it's not so hard to become an arc. You already just take an yeah. action, pay two blood, and that's it. Oh, Amalavati could play it. Yeah, that's right. He, you know, more most... or less, the star of the deck and he's independent here. So you know, uh. Oleg Benga, who's a Magaji, so if he went, you know, he can't, actually can't go Anarch. He can go Anarch. You know, from uh, the uh, uh, Cardless from Anarch, or, yeah. or from, from the uh, the Cardless action. Yeah. Uh, but he's really the only vampire other than uh, Kamau Jafari that could actually, you know, had the blood to be able to do so. Cause yeah, but they're both Lyman, so kind of you need an independent of you know, one kind or another. Yeah. But we're late in the game, you know, maybe sooner uh, that's a playable card. 
this makes sense, kind of. Half of your vampires can play it. <laughs> but also, he's got 47 pool. Like, there's really not much well, that yeah. he, he yeah, really needs to worry about. <clears throat> so, yeah. Of course, using the troublemaker to <laughs> tap the remaining vampires. I guess that's it for Nikita. Well, I mean, at this point, too, we're just like... Yeah. When, when, when you know, use, it's, it's when nice you use the troublemaker, it was like giving the game to the opponent. <laughs> um, yeah, Bress in a bit, in a bit so, a sect, but um, yeah. So if uh, oh, that's right, Sarian wins, five you get, you'll have three VP because he's ousted two yeah. prey. Yeah, that's he it. Gets one for that's himself. a that's a solid win. This I don't much... see how he doesn't make one damage out of his. How much is it? Nine actions, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> We're watching for the fun of it, you know. <laughs> They're discussing in chat. Uh, what well, is it? That a good move to have um, reckless agitation in deck uh, because we saw the card uh, could not play it, and really it seems like <laughs> the only vampire that can play it is Amalavati here. Like he's Lydon. The, all the others are too young to play reckless agitation because you need to to be five or more. But it can maybe be still worth we it if Amaravati can play it, you know. Sometimes too, like you only need to be able to play a card once in a yeah. game, and that can turn the tide. And that was five is damage, huge. Man. That's huge. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that time he remembered to Yeah, that's it. He did not get blocked. Of course, Nikita I thrown those points in last turn. That's it, man. Great job, guys. Lori won that game. Uh, that was beautiful play uh, with this Asamite deck. Wow. It's rare to see the Asamite deck getting it out and uh, winning the tournament. I'm really glad. <laughs> very good play from Nikita. You Magic just let him do Everybody <laughs> played, played beautifully. It was, it was a very nice game. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and especially thank you, Chris, for commenting with me. It was really a pleasure to be Yes, two, it was two, really two great to uh, sit and watch the game. Okay, so next time, about yeah, we'll try to have like both videos so you can have your face up there. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> that would be great. We'll definitely we'll try to figure we'll out some yeah. sort of uh, technology that we need to have. Try, to, try to come up, to... you know, like maybe uh, sooner, uh, both of us, and try to set it up really nicely. And uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes.